The new technology that's helping people with autism cope with the daily stresses of life. A smartphone app called Brain in Hand has been developed by university experts. It's been tried out at a day centre in Nottinghamshire, from where our health correspondent Rob Sissons reports. Luke drops in here every week. There's a support worker who helps him cope with his autism, and new technology is helping too. It's an app that university experts have developed to guide him through the stresses and strains of each day. They call it the Brain in Hand. So what happens if you've got a locked door? Will it tell you Ask what to a member of staff for key, go and see what else needs doing and go and have a coffee if, there's no, if somebody is not available yet. His choices on the programme are all fed back to his support worker, who can see how he's doing. It says Hoover pipe came off the vacuum cleaner. Yes. So what solution did you use? I said, oh, something, the pipe's coming off. I used a... I to use a swear word at one time. You would have done, but now with your brain in hand, what do you say instead? Oh, what dear, what solution can off. we use? I can do some drawing and watch some TV or play some music. Now he knows he can take control of his own behaviour and his own anxieties. Yes. And he can, he can use his brain in hand to keep him calm, manage his anxieties a lot better. It's really made a difference to me here to stop me losing my rag if things go wrong. It's really, really helped. If things get really bad, you can hit the red button. Things are difficult and you need help. It's helping the day centre users get on better. They say here around three quarters of people who've tried the technology like it. Stress and anxiety is a really big factor in autism and anything that we can do that can help people to manage their own stress and anxiety is a really uh, effective tool of, of reducing the number of incidents, re reducing the number of outbursts that people have. Brain in Hand is Luke's constant companion. The charity Autism East Midlands wants to get more people using it to cut through the daily hassles of life. Rob Sissons, BBC East Midlands Today, Nottinghamshire. There really is an app for everything. There is. It's